You are in tune to sports, life, and hip hop, man. Tune in, man. Turn it up. Tell your neighbors, 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 neighbor. You know, it's Pugs Adams. Yo, yo, sports, life, and hip hop. Yo, we are here on the south We're side here of Chicago. We're with the realest one. The realest, the realest, realest. In the building, <laughs> I'm here. We're outside the building, but. <laughs> this is my man right here. <laughs> good, fr good friend of ours, real one. We are here for his uh, his album release. Uh, got a project out with uh, your boy, you know what I'm saying? You know, speak on it. Uh, Pugs Adams. Oh, um, the new project is titled Mookie on the South Side. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a fun fact for our viewers, I told him, I said, I got this dope spot, man. I got this dope <laughs> spot where I had my birthday party. Okay. Uh, it's up north. He said, come on, man. He said, are you serious? We, the, the, the title's called Mookie on the South Side. We got to right. do it out south. Right. Well. So what better place than the Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum? Oh, yeah. So cool. um, Never knew about this place. This is it right here, man. Um, this is my first time here. I think you guys are really going to oh, enjoy okay. it. Okay. You, you guys really have a good time in there. Um, Pugs is in there if you want to. Talk to him real quick, man. It's up to you. Whatever y'all yeah, want to do. Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely. Sports Yo, Sports Life and Hip Hop. Sports Life and Hip Hop. Zeke, Ricky Sway, Billionaire Mike behind the camera. Yo, we here on the south side of Chicago. South side, stand up. Peace. It's Mookie on the south side. 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 On the south side, it's a Please watch us grow up and try to follow us. Police watch us roll up and try knocking us. Please watch us grow up and try to follow us. Ingo at night, pops playing me jazz. Please watch us grow up and try to follow us. Police watch us roll up and try knocking us. Please watch us. Yo, yo, yo Sports Life and Hip Hop, Ricky Sway, got Zeke in the building. We, we at the Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum. Checking it out. It's real dope. It's real low key. You wouldn't notice it if right. you went past it, but Southside stand up. Yeah, a lot, lot of history in here. Checking yeah. it out. A lot of talent Chicago has put out. Uh, you know, what I'm saying today we interviewing. You know, Pugs Adams got a project. Legend, legend with uh, got a project with DJ Real One, a good friend of ours. DJ uh, Catch Twenty Two. Yep. Uh, they got a project coming out. Mookie on the south. Mookie from the south Mookie side. Mookie from the south side. So uh, check that out. And, uh, yo, we'll be right back. We're going to get About a word. To get into this interview with the yep. legend, Pugs Adams. Yo, yo, yo. We live. Sports Life and Hip Hop. Ricky Suede, Zeke, and we got Pugs Adams. Pugs yeah. Adams. The legend in, in the flesh. Heritage Museum. Appreciate it, man. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> See the <laughs> history. See all the history. Man. Thank, thank yeah. you for uh, having us today. Uh, you got a project out with DJ Real One. What's the name of it? Uh, it's called Mookie on the South Side, and it's based on like uh, my painting series of the mm -hmm. same name that depicts life on the South Side growing up from the 90s to now. Mm -hmm. Like, where did we go? What did we wear? Where did we hang out? What did we read? What schools did we go to? All of that kind of stuff, man. What, uh, as far, like, I know a little bit about your story. You, you, uh, you moved here when you was like in grammar school, correct? I don't know. I was like two. Two. Oh, oh, my bad. My apologies, too. <laughs> it was, now, it was early. was a radio DJ in Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. To okay. Do, um, the radio Man, I radio. fucked up. My bad. Yeah, Sorry about that. Good. No biggie. Um, probably Wikipedia. Probably no, wrong. No, negative. It wasn't regular. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what part of tell the people what part of the side you from? Uh, I'm from Inglewood, man. Okay, yeah, that's where I did all my first stuff, my first murals, my first parties, my first rap shows, all in Inglewood, man. Mm. What uh, what's the name of the uh, the project you got out with Real One? Currently, what's the name? Uh, Mookie, uh, Mook. Yeah, yeah, it's Mookie on the South Side, and it actually drops tomorrow, Saturday. Okay. October 14th, and we are at the listening session tonight. So everybody here, even people on the album, have not even heard this album oh, yet. Dope. So everybody should be surprised. Yeah. Will it be on DSPs, or are you more of a physical guy? I, Pause. Well, I do tons of vinyl, but right now it's DSPs and Bandcamp, but then a few months from now it'll be the vinyl release and some other special things. Yeah, because it'll be full clothes and all that come out next okay. week. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people are against streaming because the pay is not there. What made you go to streaming? Uh, well, I'm not like totally invested in streaming. Oh. Like for me, I look at streaming more as the promo side. I think okay. real one is like, against streaming. Yeah, <laughs> but it depends on your catalog. Like I mean, I got okay. like 22 projects. So oh, I mean, okay. I got tons of stuff just collecting, and then I do a lot of syncs and you know that kind of stuff. Okay. Commercials, football games, all that kind of thing. With my oh. Music. Oh wow. Video okay. Games, yeah. What uh. Like, how did you and Real One link up and, and work on this project? And what was your mindset for this? 
Well, uh, him and Catch-22, they produced the whole album. Mm -hmm. Him and Catch have been best friends for time. And mm -hmm. then me and Real mm -hmm. used to work for Catch's marketing company. He used to have like an underground rap marketing company. So all your like LPs, your Def Jux, your Rockets, like all those like indie mm -hmm. labels. We were the, the street team for it here in Chicago. Oh, wow. So we're delivering the records. We're getting the feedback. We're doing all the crazy promotional mm -hmm. joints and that. But over the course of the last four years... They've each reached out to me separately, like, hey, man, we should do something. Mm -hmm. And every time they hit me, I was working on a project for something else. And I'm oh, just like, man, I don't really want to just do a one-off, you know. Right. So then Catch, he, like, maybe six months ago, he was just like, hey, man, how about we really do a full project? Me and Real on the beach, and, you know, you do what you do. Oh, man. Yeah, so they sat and listened to a bunch of my music before they sent the beats. Oh, okay. So they could be in line with what I'm trying to present. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're all on the same page. And then they gave me a folder of maybe 20 beats. I picked maybe eight or nine. And then I had a few other ones from mm -hmm. before that they sent. Okay. That I was like, I want to use it, but I right. need a place to put it to mm -hmm. make it make sense. Okay. Yeah. So this took about six months to do? Yeah, about six months, yeah. Okay. okay. The turn of the year. Okay. Yeah, we got to record it at a brand new studio from New York that moved here. Uh, mm -hmm. Just Made Media, Zesto Q was the engineer. Mm -hmm. and, and like his girl is like an old school homie of mine, just like real and catch. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was that oh. full circle of, mm -hmm. you know, all of us coming back together as we've gotten older to make it. Yeah. Any, uh, any visual, you know, as far as videos, anything coming out for this project? Are you going? Oh to yeah, yeah, yeah. In the next uh, month, it's uh, a Purple Box video with Purple Box video. It's just a lyric video. Mm -hmm. I have an animated video. I mean, I I, I do <laughs> tons of videos because I make yeah. videos myself. Mm -hmm. A lot of my right. friends make videos too. So we have a okay. bunch of things planned for this. Okay, cool. But I mean, for me, I don't really promote it. My music, in the sense of this month of release, I mm -hmm. promote it for the rest of my life. So as things present themselves, it'll be other things that add on. Yeah. When did you start rapping? I started rapping around, what was that, about 91? Damn. Mm. So you, you definitely, and you got the gene, like it's always been in you. Yeah. You're, a music, you're musically inclined, correct? Yeah, now I would have, like my parents would have like Oscar Brown Jr., like OG oh. poet, come to my oh. house and perform oh. to give me an understanding of, oh. you know, oh, what damn. it is, culture oh. and that. And then my cousin Seagram, he was a rapper. That was the first rapper I ever met. It was funny. I was mm -hmm. like, you're a rapper. Well, okay. Do you have your first rhyme book? Uh, I have some rhyme books. I don't think I have the very first. The very first one wasn't that good. But I have a lot of early, like, 90 rhyme books. Oh, when dope. I got, I had to get more serious. Cause right. Because, like, when I first started, I was like, I need a keyboard. Mm. You know, my parents got the keyboard. I was like, I don't know how to play the keyboard. Yes. You right, know, yeah. and then that's what I, I figured out how people were sampling and, you know. Right. That, but, yeah, right but yeah I time, ran into that issue. <laughs> well, no, because you're geeks. You're like, oh, yeah. man, I'm about to make it happen. <laughs> Just because you've seen it. You right. Know, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it was a slow process. But, I mean, all the music my dad played has played an intricate part in, like, how I sample, how I pick beats, how I bring in musicians, et cetera. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So what's your weapon of choice now for production? Mm, I can't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my little secret. Oh, okay. All right. But when I do do classes, you're definitely welcome to come. Okay. okay. Right. So your name, Pugs Adams, that's a play off of Adams Family, correct? Uh, to a point, yeah. Because, I mean, I started as a graffiti writer. And mm. it was one of those things. My mom wrote graffiti. So she knew the first time I started tagging my name. So I had to pick a name where you wouldn't know it's me. So, uh, <laughs> so opposite, because it's like a chubby white guy. But then, you know, I like met Karis one, and you know, he was talking about how names have to have a real meaning. So mm -hmm. my name at that time was Pugs Lee Adams. So uh -huh. like Pug is the shape or mold in pottery. SL is abbreviation in Webster's for save loss. Double E is one who does something. Okay. And at the time I had a crew called Nacrobats, I found it. That was like over like 200 kids from Salt Village to uh, Skokie okay. that were all into the elements of hip hop and all that so it's like molding these people into this vision I had wow with you know we celebrated 50 years of hip hop and you starting off you know in the 90s or whatever who was influential in hip hop like who do you look to it's like yo like I would say, like, uh, my first tape was Houdini, Open Sesame. I was way too young for it. <laughs> so it, it was, like, dope, but I was like, I don't get it, you know? Mm -hmm. But then, like, by the time EPMD dropped, You oh, Got to Chill, it started to make Surely more sense. Okay. And then, like, when De La Soul came, then I'm like, okay, 
okay, uh, I can I can rock with the you know okay. they're they're making jokes I get, mm-hmm. you know. So yeah, oh. those and then of course KRS One. I mean, getting to do uh, was a self was a, to stop the violence record. We did a whole Chicago one. Okay. That was like super powerful just to you see know all these different the violence record, right? Self destruction. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know about that. Album. But the movement. Yeah, yeah. Violence. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was at a time in Chicago, kind of like now, where it kind of got too crazy. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we do events and et cetera with it. Yeah. Awesome. Going back to your name, was that your first choice for a rap name? Nah, of course. You know, you have like, <laughs> like, Well, can we hear the terrible <laughs> ones before that? Well, I didn't really add a terrible. I was like MC Clue. And then I think I tried like MC Clue. play for a bit. But again, remember I was a graffiti writer. So right. it, was like it was working with what letters I wrote best. Right. And then oh, okay. when I put all the letters together, Pugs Lee came. And I right. was like, all right, you know, I'll roll with that. Dang, I, I know you write them the best. You had to have gotten an A plus in, ma- in uh, art, man. <laughs> like, you had to draw anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I, mean, I do a lot of murals like around the country. Shit. And then I have a crew called Murals R Us. We you left handed? I'm a <laughs> I knew, I knew it. It's either left-handed or you just, you know what I'm saying. Why can't you just be right-handed though? It's... Right-handed people aren't creative. <laughs> Not like left-handed people. Are you right-handed? Yeah, yeah. I'm holding the mic with my right. Yeah. <laughs> but I prefer my right. Oh, oh, okay. No, but seriously, um, like as far as Chicago being, uh, you being like, in, you know, like being into the hip-hop culture in Chicago, like, is there anyone? that you met on the Chicago scene that you were like, I don't want to say in awe, of course not, but like, you just like, man, like, I really respect this MC or whatnot. Uh, tons of people, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've done a radio show here for over 20 years. I mean, all those people coming through there are people, mm-hmm. I like their music. By the way, Chicago has a lot of talent. Yeah, yes. a lot of talent. But I mean, the first people, you know, probably like, uh, was that no type of big drug dealer. That record was like, super influential to me. I heard it on KKC and I was like, I like that. Mm-hmm. And then I find out the person's from Chicago. Mm-hmm. Um, MC Juice, uh, Ron Fest, The Moment, yes. All Natural. Yeah. Um, Juice beat, Juice beat Eminem. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I freestyle with Juice so many times. Mm-hmm. That's the homie, man. That's the homie. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there's tons of artists. I mean, even in, now at the new school, I mean, Freddie Oso, Super Cold, Vic Spencer, Vic Mensa, mm-hmm. Chance, etc. I mean, it's mm-hmm. way too many to name. Yeah. Um, on a lighter note, I know like hip hop or whatever. What is some of your favorite eateries for those? Because we have like people outside of Chicago. <laughs> what are some of your favorite eateries? Well, in you gotta Chicago? go to Illuminati's for the pizza. That's my favorite. That's pizza your right favorite now. pizza spot. And then Italian Fiesta, if you want to see. There, the there, you, there you go. <laughs> you know, that's that's what you always want. For. No, if you want the deep dish, I think Illuminati's gives you a nice. I just had some of that today. Illuminati's Shout out to Luz. Mm-hmm. You know, like Giordano's gonna be too moist. Right. And then Gino's East. It ain't the same crust as it used to be. So it's yeah, different. It's, it's, it's different. It's different now. You need a lot of water. It's different now. It ain't like it was, man. Yeah. And then um, actually, the person doing drinks downstairs, uh, Bernita, mm-hmm. man, one of the best chefs, man. Like I remember, I got an apartment on Belmont and Lakeshore <laughs> Drive because I went to one of her rooftop events. She catered, man. The food was so banging. I, I went down to the lease and they were like, I need to live here. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, but it's uh, tons of people, man. It's tons of people. Man, Chicago is so dope in the summertime. First of all, we always talk about how Chicago is dope in the summertime. Um, like, do you go any festivals or what have you? Like, yeah, yeah, all of that, man. I mean, Chicago, the thing, because I, I lived in London for a while, I had a band there. Mm-hmm. But when I moved back, that was the thing I really missed. Like, going to events and like how many free events Chicago has. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of free yeah, stuff. This is more of a consumer city, so everybody yeah. throws their money. But I mean, I say the best concert I ever went to is probably it was Goody Mob, Fuji's, and I want to say like Diggable Planets. It was like one of those mm-hmm. kind of lineups. And then this other one, it was a Hennessy party. It was like a free joint. You just had to be on the list. Mm-hmm. It was Erica Badu, ASAP Rocky, and I want to say like John Legend or Alicia Keys, one of those. Oh, okay. That was crazy. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. But probably that probably never get them at a show yeah, again. It was awesome. That was so Thank- awesome. He had a whole like. 20 foot Thundercat with the eyes glowing and all oh, that smoke. It was crazy last night. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Anything else? Well, man? I know your project hasn't officially dropped, but do you have anything? Do you have your next project in mind already? Uh, I always do. I mean, I drop a record almost every other year or every year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's 
so it's all rolling. But I mean, right now, I just really need people to go to whatever, however you listen to music and play Mookie on the South Side, Heart and Soul in there, Real Stories in there, a lot of Chicago in there. And like, I mean, I produce some of it and just got to have fun with my friends. And to me, like, that's the best part of making music when right. you get to enjoy the experience. Right. Well, we appreciate you, man. There you have Thanks it. For, uh, Sure, it's a, it's a dope museum. I didn't even know that this even existed. Yeah, this is like, no. the third year of it, of it being here. This yeah. is crazy, man. Like, man, but appreciate it. Yo, appreciate Pugs it, Adams, yo. Bah, bah, bah. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Sports life and hip hop. I still open the door for women and it doesn't bother me. It's crazy for each show. I'm still, I still like to have fun. I was stepping out the art bank, the Wayne Powell, send it up, walking out the doorway. Stepped on my Lepidiodorus, yeah, they all gone. Had to let it slide, comic book side, um, on the greater things. Ed Fu, Pinky, bring feeling regal like Kate and Calvin Jones. They body snatching on the aisle. Said Medevo, sometimes you gotta let it go. Fill the next clan, van glorious to make it home like the Warriors. They wild. Yo, sports life and hip hop. We're checking out the upper level of the Chicago Heritage Museum. People coming in, starting to get packed. Man, a lot of, a lot of history. A lot of history, a lot of graffiti. Got the memorial wall over here, RIP. Yeah. RIP Virgil. So we're about to go check out what's on the first floor. See how the DJ doing. DJ Real One. Shout out to Real One. Shout out, shout out to, to Pugs one. Adams. Shout out, shout out to uh, Channel 7. Shout out to Dre Cobbs. We yeah. hear you. We hear you downstairs, Dre Cobbs. <laughs> about to check out level one. Peace. And in broad day, no mask like church clothes Hard to see the big picture like movies in the first row I smother this future's album cover Honk on the horn, it's misfit Handshakes, peace, kid And let Channel 7 know that I played his joint Oh yeah, yeah, I heard him, man, that sounds like Channel 7 up there Channel 7, I played the joint <laughs> <laughs> Spirit, I played Drake House's Head Knock Family Adams, Head Knock family. That's how we do it, man. Shot yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. We went to the north side. We drove two hours in traffic to the oh. south side. But I'm here. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yo, yo, yo. Sports Life and Hip Hop. Ricky Suede, Zeke. We got Kareem. Kareem. He's here enjoying everything. Yo, so like, what brings you out today? Uh, Pugs. Pugs brings me out today. Um, I love his vibe. I love his welcome. I love the fact that he's been around doing it for such a long time and mixing it up with everybody. And I mean, his stuff is so dope and so accessible and so love. So I'm into it. What uh, with everyone, you know, with 50 years of hip hop being celebrated this year, what are some of the favorite MCs, rappers that you love? I used to listen to a lot of Brand Nubian. I used to, I mean, Tupac, early Tupac was kind of like a, a, an icon for, yeah, tu Tupacalypse, <laughs> Brenda's Got a Baby, and you know, all of those, but like, I was just telling you that I think that like, for me, as an immigrant to the country, I came here when I was like, before I was three, but you look around and you look at examples of like, black and brown people, what are they doing to kind of survive in this culture, Right. and Black culture for me in the 80s, particularly hip hop culture, provided a sort of like sense of strength and community journey to kind of, um, you know, to kind of find my way in, the, in this land. Um, so I'm immensely grateful to everybody that's contributed to the scene. And now it's global. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Hip hop is it's taking over. It's taking over. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's in, it's on Dunkin' Donut commercials. You know? <laughs> it is for sure. Yeah. You, you yeah. said you said a lot of used to. Are there any current acts you're listening to right now or no? I love No Name. Okay. Oh, okay. Local. I love Vic Mensa. Um, oh, who is it? Saba as well. Um, there's a lot of people who are making a lot of interesting stuff, you know. There was a bridge for me in terms of like what hip-hop was in the 80s versus the 90s and that right. kind of explosion and then what it became in this new millennium. It took me a second to catch up with um, the sort of young folks, mm. but I am understanding that there's a lot of wisdom that is being dropped these days. Sure. And melding of different styles as well, you know what I mean? Um, 
I like a lot of stuff that is inspired by like Caribbean rhythms also mm -hmm. and styles of flow that come from that because you know what there's some Indian tonalities in there as well yeah. so, like, you know what I mean? mm -hmm. so so are you liking are you liking the uh, direction that hip hop is going or and you could be honest if you don't like it like is it kind of like uh, like right now it's, it, I'm it's, afraid for the future. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not the new stuff. I mean, no diss to anybody, but like, I'm not really into the new stuff. So. I hear you. I hear you. I this, mean, maybe you have an open ear to it. I really don't. Know. But one of the things I appreciated about a certain age of hip hop was so much, so much of the jazz sampling. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm a big jazz head, and I feel like diggable planets for one. Oh, that's another one. Shabazz Palaces right now mm -hmm. is making amazing, incredible, complex rhythms and music, you know? Um, I'm feeling like the universe is big enough. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And so, whatever it is, it is going to go into the next thing. One thing I'm kind of a little bit mm, about is this, really the globalization and the, ex the explosion of it mm. has, has, has led to a culture of continual appropriation without the people who sort of like invented exactly. the form. So, you know so. I mean? like being welcome, being platforms, being, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah. Um, are you against, like I know you you said uh, you love um, old school hip hop or whatnot. Are you like, you see how like the whole, um, damn, I lost my train of thought that quick. Um, shit. Streaming. Do you like how the streaming process is going and how like these artists don't really get that much money yeah. for their their you know what I'm saying their art, you know what I'm saying their work. So. Unless you set streaming a billion yeah, billion you stream copies. a billion yeah, you stream like a big or something. Right. Yeah, but you don't get anything from it, but you get like a half a cent for like a thousand streams. I could be off, but you know. Yeah, well this is the work of um, Western capitalism. You know? I mean, like it's always got an exploitative um, end. And it's like I think I think it's up to artists to because nobody's looking out. It's up to artists to sort of frankly demand what they're worth. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And like I'm an artist. I'm an actor, playwright in town. Oh. Like I know I've always negotiated my own contracts because I know if I don't ask for it. If I say yes to everything, you know what I mean? There's a there's power in saying no. We can it say is. no. You yes, know what I mean? can, like yeah. you can say no. So you're on strike right now. Um, no. SAG after is on strike. So yes, yeah. I am. I am standing with my my siblings and you know my comrades in power there. Oh, okay. But I mainly most of my work comes through AEA, the Actors Equity Association. Okay. Because I do live live theater most. Oh yeah, yeah that's hard. That's yeah. difficult. Um, we got, you know, subscribers from around the world. Can you tell people what makes Chicago so cool, awesome, just great? It's this place, this storied place, this crossroads of America, kind of in the center of the continent almost. Yep. Where like, you know, because of because of New York's like need for commercial everything, <laughs> right? It is one of the most affordable metropolises in the country. Even though some people are being priced out of whatever, but like you can as an artist still find space here. Where you can't do it in New York, you can't do it in LA, you can't do it anywhere else. And what that means is like we can try things here. This is true for everyone I feel for the theater community as well like you can try stuff here without the pressure of it having to be product of it having to sell on Broadway or at the large record labels or in some kind of way that is um, commercial so the, the, the feeling and the spirit of experimentation is alive here and all the cool ass original shit that the country and the world gets to know comes from this environment is what I feel. that's what I feel. great answer great it's answer great answer yeah. Kareem thank you sir appreciate thank you. it man thank you have thank a good you. evening bro yeah nice to mix it up yeah, nice to okay. okay nice to meet you.
Yo, Sports Life and Hip Hop. We got our, we got our good, our dear old, friend. Old buddy. <laughs> we got spirit buddies, in the building. <laughs> friend of the show. Okay, friend. Spirit, man. Spirit. What's going on, man? Everything's good. I can't complain. How are you? Good, good. What man. brings you to these parts? Um, well, hip hop call. Okay. <laughs> so I came out. Yeah. Yeah, Have you ever been one. here? Um, no, I haven't actually. Okay. Like us. Yeah. 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 DJ Real One, he actually invited me. So. Oh, okay. Well, I decided to come out. Okay, cool, cool. cool. Uh, anything, uh, I know you got a project just came out. Anything else that you're working on currently? Um, I have many projects, <laughs> but the one I'm working on now is called Manson Eclectic. And that's going to be a big one. You can catch it on my website, www.spiritualia.com. Well, what about Spotify? And um, no, what's that? <laughs> people who want to stream and hear um, stuff on their phone. They can stream in the river or something like that. <laughs> um, you can go buy my projects, all of them actually. I have eight of them. Okay. Yeah, I don't do streamers. Yeah, as you can see, you, we you interview what? Pugs. He, he has stuff on streaming. You can see the contrast right here. He's yeah. against streaming. Yeah, what's that? I still don't know what streaming is. Is there anything you want to say to your dear friend, uh, Channel 7, in the camera over there? You want um, to... Channel 7. Hey. That's about it. Uh, that's about it. One, one word. One word. Hey. All right. I just talked to him, though. I actually just talked to him. All right, man. man good to see you, baby. Likewise. Right, man. Always good to see you. Likewise. Peace and blessings. Appreciate the interview. Thanks for right. having me, bro. Spirit. Spirit Julia, everyone. <laughs> Yo, Sports Life and Hip Hop. Sports Life and Hip Hop, we here with. What's going on? It's your boy Prism showing love. Mookie on the south side. Big shout out to Pugs. Taking it all the way back. I'm talking about all the way back to the Navy Pier days. We were holding down in the cypher. That's how far back we go. I'm showing my age. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I want to send a big shout out to the other cat that invited me down, notified me of this event happening, and that's my boy DJ Real One. We go back to the radio station. Everybody know Real One. Everybody know Real One. Yeah, yeah. He had me back on the radio stations back in them days, mm -hmm. freestyling, showing some of the material that I had at that time. So, you know, we're still going. We're still going. We're still making music. We did an album as recently as last year. Oh, dope. dope. Born and raised in Chicago? Born and raised Humble Park, Chicago. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, well, like, it's like a subset of Chicago directly in the middle of the city. You feel me? Tell like, the, we, got, we got subscribers all around the world. Tell the people why Chicago is so dope. You know what's dope about Chicago is that Chicago, although we're more of a consumer city, our creativity is to the max because we're able to get exposure from the southern, east, and the west music, as well as now from the north in Canada and all of that. We get exposure to all of that. But we actually blend it and come up with something completely different, new and unique. So if you listen to Chicago, you'll listen to like this real core hip hop sound. And if you even go back further into the 90s, early 2000s, you'll get a very authentic sound uh, uh, of hip hop that was still in its almost conception. But now it's evolved significantly. So, I mean, it's something to appreciate, especially if you go down that timeline. Oh, so appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming out. Yes, Thanks sir. for that. Thank you man. very much for having yeah, me. Man. Big shout out. Puerto Rican is. Puerto Rican is. Holding it down, humble part Chicago. Let's go. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. man. Yo, sports like sports hip hop. Hip -hop. You no, know, people starting to roll in. Good music. A lot of familiar faces. Oh, yeah, a lot of familiar faces. Good vibe. Everyone's in here uh, appreciating hip hop. It's, man, it's like a wax museum kind of in here. This is definitely for the underground yeah, heads. For sure. You're not going to hear any Drake being played here. No, you will not. This is strictly old school underground. Brand new being. Burnt, burnt biscuits. Jazzmatized. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, You're not going to hear no commercial hip hop. No, this is not all here. for the. For the real hip hop For the real heads. Uh, shout out to Real One for the invite. Shout out to for Pugs Adams. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everyone in here. Everybody's cool. Shout out to Billionaire Mike. Yo, like we, it's a good vibe in here. So, Absolutely. Ricky Sway. Southside.
They say he on, he on The sun always shine right after the storm Never forget how far you've come Open the curtains, man, we on, we on they say he on, he on The sun always shine right after the storm Never forget how far you've come I say we on, we on Like tell the truth, call me on the three-way Operator operating so easy so This piece is called Meet Me and Dr. Wax And so many times I would meet my friends there To put our tapes in, put our CDs in, put our vinyl in Or to go buy the newest record Or to hear Dwayne tell us what we need to hear, or Taiwan to tell us, you know, this is the best overseas album, or GQ to give you his headphones and say, listen to this, you know, that kind of vibe. But this piece, man, it just, man, it makes me feel good, you know, because this was like an institution for us, man. I remember I would come every two weeks, they'll give me a hundred bucks, I'd drop off 10 tapes and 10 CDs, and just kept that going, you know, to gramophone and to, Dusty Grove and the other stores, man. But I appreciate all y'all for coming out. We about to get this album started, man. Let's go, real. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out here. Um, it means a lot to me. Um, for those of you who, who don't know me, I'm DJ Real One. Um, I used to be in the scene back in the 90s, early 2000s. Um, some flyers to prove that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, for those of you that don't know me, me and Pugs go way back. Uh, we did a lot of street team work. We did a lot of shows together. Um, I used to DJ on WCRX uh, 88.1. I used to come down to HBK, um, JP Chill, Pugs, okay, you know what I'm saying? We were doing our thing back in the day. So this album, for me personally, is just like my personal history with Pugs, and he was able to take our vision to another level. Um, we just sent him some beats and said, hey, let's do an album. But we did not expect what we came up with. I didn't know Pugs was going to go that hard. So thank you, Pugs, um, for doing your thing on this album. I got to say thank you to my man, Zesto Q, uh, who did the mix and master. I don't know where he's at. Um, I see him. Okay. Yeah, thank you, sir. Um, my girl, Gigi, on the camera. I see you, queen, right there. Um, but for real, though. It's funny to her, but you know how I do. <laughs> um, but what I do when I'm in the studio, these guys know they experienced it. I take a bottle. <laughs> I pour it up. It's got to be the finest Belgian beer, though. But tonight, we got something better. Shemay, you know about that, Shemay. Yeah. Tonight, we got something better. We got that Moore's. Shout out to Moore's Beer for the sponsorship. Oh, Make sure you go grab one. Uh, it's very good. So let's raise your glass if you got one, and let's toast yeah. to my man, Pugs Adams. Yes. Woo! Woo! There you yes, go, sir. there you go. Yeah! Let's and go. On, that note, on that note, we about to get this started, y'all. You ready? Let's go. I said if y'all ready, make some noise. Yeah. Let's go, people. Italian Fiesta, people. It's, 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 it's some good pizza, man. They not paying me for the pub. Hey, but you know what? It's some good greasy pizza. Italian fiesta. I have yet to have a slice. Maybe one day in the future, <laughs> I will try. I gotta take Zeke to get some Italian fiesta. But yo, nice, nice and greasy. So this was like a soft sculpture in my first solo show, and it went crazy. Everybody was like, "How." Wow. Oh, that's right. Do they, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, do they wear this at the place? No, it's my shirt. <laughs> it's your it's shirt. Because <laughs> I make clothes. Yeah. Oh, so you made this yeah. yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's the shirt that dude has on the painting. Right, right. right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Us, you, we. Us, you, we. Together, unity. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So I make everything up to this hat. Oh, you're the jack of all trades, man. <laughs> You gotta buy it. You gotta buy it here. I need to buy it here. Oh, okay. uh, the shirt goes for a The bags are pretty. The hats are pretty. The vinyl is uh, thirty. The book is forty. The license plate is twenty. The CD is ten. It's a figure. The hundo. 
Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, we just went to the Chicago Hip Hop Heritage Museum. Yo, dope event. Yo, it's good vibe in here. Shout out to Pugs Adam. Shout out to DJ Real One. You can in hear Hockey. Real One on the boards real, right now. Real One on the board right now. Shout out to our guy Spirit. He in the building. You know yes, what I'm sir. Shot Town. Uh, Everybody Shot Town. Shot Town Southside all day. And uh, yo, it was a good vibe in here. Appreciate if you want to see some hip hop heritage Come in the museum, here, Come right here. Come right here. You'll see everything. Ricky Suede. Yo, this is Zeke signing out. Peace. Peace. On the south side. It's Mookie on the south side. Yes, side. Mookie on the south side. It's Mookie on the south side. Yes, side. Mookie on the south side. It's Mookie on the south side. Yes, side. Mookie on the south side.